Now to Scotland, to a 650-acre nature reserve around Loch Garten in the Spey Valley, where the accent's very much on life, not death. And here's why a pair of ospreys, or sea eagles, which have just begun rearing a family. They're one of only nine breeding pairs in Britain. They're nesting at the top of a 40-foot tree, which they also used last year. Then their eggs were stolen, and this year security has been made virtually foolproof by the installation of sensitive listening devices to give early warning of intruders. Two-thirds of the tree's trunk is surrounded with barbed wire. The Loch Garten Reserve is run by the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, or RSPB, whose patient work over a period of nearly 15 years has been largely responsible for the ospreys re-establishing themselves in Scotland. It's a success story that's captured the imagination of the public, and some 50,000 people are expected at Loch Garten this summer to look at the nest from a concealed observation point. In a hide about 200 yards away, a team of nine wardens working in shifts keep high-powered binoculars trained on the nest and log the osprey's every movement. The male makes frequent sorties up the valley to collect twigs to strengthen the nest or bring back a pike or trout from the nearby lochs. The ospreys live solely on a diet of fish. Ospreys used to breed regularly in Scotland until the end of the last century. In 1908, the last pair left, and it was 50 years before the next pair returned. When they did, the RSPB moved in to protect them. Since then, the society's had plenty of setbacks. Twice the eggs have been stolen by would-be collectors. Twice the nest has been blown down by gales, and the bird watchers feared the ospreys would give up their attempt to resettle in Scotland. So there was considerable delight this year when they returned after wintering in the Mediterranean. Roy Dennis is the RSPB's Highland officer. Mr. Dennis, what we is asked so him why the osprey, the osprey was so special. Well, well I, I think, think they're, they're, as, as you, you see, they're, they're super birds, birds, great, great big brown and white hawks, um, nest on a tall tree, tree and, and so they're in an, an obvious place, place and you know you can really see them well. well. And then they have a history, you know, going right back over, over this century and last century, century and um, they've, they've always received, received attention from egg collectors in the old days, and in and fact, the last pair nest in Scotland in 1908. And then and after a 50-year gap, back, back they, they came, came again, and I think, you know, it's a tremendous uh, story, story about, about them, as well as um, being very fine birds. Why the extraordinary lengths to protect them this year? Well, well, you, you know, know, the Loch Garten nest is well known. We get thousands of people coming to see them. In fact, in, in 1970, there were 50,000 people came up here to look at the birds. And then last year, um, vandals got in during the incubation stage and stole the eggs in the night. Um, they were apprehended when they left the reserve. But, uh, it, you know, it was a great disappointment to tremendous numbers of people. And, of course, this year, we've been on tenterhooks, wondering whether they'll come back and whether they'll have young, and now, as you see, they've got young, and we're delighted. What are the main features about the osprey that make it such a distinctive bird? It has a different way of fishing from all other birds of prey in this country. It plunges into a loch and catches a fish and brings it back to the nest. It nests on a high tree, a very obvious sight. And then, of course, the distinctive colour, you know, dark brown above, white below, a nice brown breastband, and black and white head and a big five-foot wingspan. Could you say that the osprey has well and truly come back to Scotland or is it early days yet? It's still early days but we're very much happier now. Even last year when we lost our birds at Loch Garten, their nest, we still had 11 young ospreys reared in Scotland. So the protection afforded to the birds since 59 by the RSPB appears to have paid off and certainly in a much happier situation. But presumably the public the osprey is gradually being driven out of many of its old haunts in North America by pollution, and the RSPB is hoping that Scotland will prove an attractive and permanent alternative. <laughs>